I'm a gamer. <laughs> I play a lot of games. I really enjoy playing old nostalgic games and really cutesy games and whenever I play games I like to put them on Instagram or like share what I'm doing on Twitter and every time that I do a bunch of people ask me if I can stream them telling me that they'd love to see video game videos on my channel, want me to do reviews, and I'm here to explain why I can't really do that. But I'm also going to try to do that. If you want to skip ahead because you're not interested and you just want to see me play video games, I will give a timestamp for you to skip ahead to. But if I catch you in the comments saying, why is your video set up so sh or why don't you stream or what, then I'm just gonna link you right back to this part of the video. <laughs> so I have a MacBook Pro that is very old and earlier this year I was able to upgrade it which has been so great. I was able to get a solid state hard drive and more RAM and I can edit videos so much more easily now. And when I brought it in to get it upgraded and repaired and add these new things onto it, the people there asked what I was using it for and I explained that I edit videos and they were surprised that I could get Adobe Premiere to open, let alone edit anything on it. They didn't know how I was doing it before. Frankly, I don't know how I was either. And if you've followed me on Twitter and Instagram for a while, you probably remember back in like 2016, 2017, just seeing me crying and posting about how my computer crashed or I can't get through a certain part. And I'm really thankful that I was able to save up and upgrade my computer because I've been able to make more content. I was able to start a Patreon so that I could make more regular content and have previews and stuff like that. So I'm really happy, but it's still nowhere near a point where I could make video game videos. Especially because a lot of the video games that I like to play are older and a lot of them aren't compatible with Mac. So in order to play them on my MacBook Pro, I would have to run a program that emulates Windows and then I would have to run the actual game itself and then a screen capture program. So that's three things running all at once and my computer can't handle it. And I've tried. <laughs> I really wanted to play a lot of nostalgic games and when The Sims Online was re-released through fans, I went out and bought a really terrible Windows laptop because I just really wanted to play The Sims Online. And I used this laptop to play Sim Theme Park, Barbie games, The Sims 1, Sims Online, Age of Empires, a bunch of different games that I can't play on my Mac. <laughs> but this computer also doesn't have the power to play those games and any kind of screen capture program. And I've tried and I've had professionals who do gameplay videos for a living or stream look at it and try to help me and it's just, there's nothing that will work <laughs> because it's just not powerful enough. So I am saving up to eventually get a desktop computer, but for now, what I'm going to do is record my screen with my camera and then use my webcam to record me because I will just be tiny in the corner anyway, so it doesn't matter if my quality isn't as good. And this is what I, this is the compromise that I have come to that will work because I've tried everything. This is all I've got for now. If you wanna help support me in my journey to getting a desktop computer, it is my goal on Patreon as well as Ko-fi. That is why I haven't made gameplay videos, that's why I don't stream, and that's also why the quality of this video is gonna be kind of bad, but I think that it's gonna be fun enough that we will get through it and you won't mind that the quality isn't amazing. What are we actually doing today? I am going to play Barbie Fashion Show from the year 2000 and I'm going to try to recreate some Lolita coordinates in the game. Now this game is not Lolita at all. They did not consider Lolita in it. It's not, it's not Lolita. So the coordinates are not gonna be good. 
but I think it's gonna be a fun challenge. Please let me know in the comments if you've ever played this game before. I hope, I definitely did as a kid, and I hope that it brings some fun nostalgia for you. The way this video is gonna work is I'm gonna go through the coordinates that I was given, and we're gonna take a look and see what we could use, because this game is super, super limited. <laughs> and it doesn't really translate very well to Lolita, but I think that's part of the challenge and will make it fun. I asked for submissions for this video, and I didn't exactly say what I was doing, but I asked for more plain and like old school coordinates, because I think that's gonna be the easiest to translate. I'm very sorry that I said one of the things to include would be solid color dresses and like non-printed dresses, but after going through it more, I realized that it's not really going to translate because it's just gonna be like a red dress or like a solid color dress and I'm not gonna be able to do the details in it. This entire video is a big experiment and we're just gonna try our best in the end make five coordinates for this Barbie fashion show. I will not be recreating the people. I'm going to just be recreating the coordinate because this game doesn't have any kind of character builder, doesn't have any kind of customizations when it comes to the models. You just kind of select them and put them in the clothes. So think about it as though I'm taking these coordinates from people that were submitted and I'm putting them on models and having a fashion show. This coordinate I think is going to be absolutely perfect because there is a plaid print in the game and I think that it'll be really easy to do the plaid and then like just do a line across and kind of like block out where the cardigan would be. So I'm gonna use Millie's. Quilted underscore dreams. I think that this is gonna be perfect as well. It's gonna translate really well with the tools at my disposal in this game. Princess Trashy. I want to try this because it is a print, but it's a kind of more simple print. And I don't think that there's those sleeves exactly, but there's some sleeves that might be kind of passable or that I could work with. I'm going to try it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to try. Melty Pisces. Melty Pisces. I like that name. See, this coordinate is really cute. It's really beautiful, but because it's all black, I don't know how it would translate in the game. And I apologize so much because I know in my request I said to put solid color prints, but I realize now that it's not really going to translate. And I think you'll see why. <laughs> <laughs> this look is so good and it's not gonna work at all <laughs> there's nothing like those shoes there's nothing like those socks I'm not gonna be able to do bloomers because you can't layer pieces which I find really annoying but again it's from 2000 you know I'm not gonna be able to draw that my chemical romance shirt but you know what I'm gonna try this coordinate <laughs> It's not gonna be good. It's not gonna work out. It's not gonna be true to this, but I freaking love this coordinate and ever since you submitted it, I have been thinking about it. It's so good. It's iconic. Okay, that's enough of me gushing over that cord. I already have red pieces, but it might be fun to do a red theme. I wanted to do a variety. But so far we have like black and red and now I'm thinking it might be cool to do a theme. And I think that the shape of this, because it's more like a cut sew dress, would work. Kira OG, this coordinate is really really cute but I don't think there's any way I could translate it into this game. off my red and black 
idea, but it's a lady sloth dress and although it is a print and it's all over, I think it might be fun and f interesting to try to recreate. Lace Plus Geek also submitted the lady sloth dress and I think that I might use that one because then it stays with my theme of black and white and red. We are going to start my Lolita Barbie fashion show. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Cookie left us some cool fabrics and decals. I can't wait to use them. Um, whoa, that dress is really interesting. That kind of reminds me of um Wonder Queen, that one AP OP where the collar is like that. But anyways, we're gonna start off with Millie's. And my plan here is to maybe choose a dress with sleeves and then draw out the cardigan because you can't actually layer in this. See like the silhouette is all wrong <laughs> but we're gonna try. I think I'm gonna try with this. I mean these colors <laughs> are so great. Imagine that as a Lolita dress. Mmm this isn't really the right kind of plaid. This looks more like something from Doll's Kill. <sighs> All right, we've already failed. I don't know if I should try to draw plaid or if I should just work with this. That doesn't look like that at all though. Mm. Uh, we're just gonna try and go with that. I'm gonna try and draw some green lines on here. Plaid, this is great. This totally looks like what she's wearing. Oh my gosh. I'm, oh, 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 I clicked on the next outfit. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> this looks horrible. Uh, the back, okay, plaid. Now we're gonna add that little stripe line, border, lace thing. No, well maybe, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't even know if I can connect that. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Millie. I guess we can do this thicker, right? Okay, so it like buttons at the top and then like is open for the skirt part. Oh, I went way, way lower on that than I meant to. Um, we're just gonna cover that up a little bit. Uh, uh. <laughs> There's Millie's cord. Beautiful. We are going to now attempt Quilted Dreams. Now, her dress is a little bit longer, so maybe we can try with like a longer dress? It's definitely not this long because I'm pretty sure this goes to the floor, but we're just gonna try it out, you know? Why not? Let's try, but yeah. It's not strawberries, but you know what? It works, kind of, sort of, not really. Is this shape? It's like kind of wavy. Good. Okay, it's also like around the waist. This little strand of beads. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that looks about right. I could do like a heart stamp. I wish that you could resize these. As far as I know, you can't resize it. Sure, sure, yeah. That was easy. Wait, I still need to do the sleeves. I don't know if these sleevey things would be on the back, but I'm just gonna put them on the back. Since it's red on red, we're just gonna put this bow here, right there. Yeah, that looks so good. <laughs> that looks so good. Okay, see that cut looks like it would probably work, but I think that it's not poofy enough or long enough. So it's like a solid red. There's polka dots. This dress is so cute. I wonder if there's like a polka dot-ish texture that I could do. Really, there isn't like a red and white polka dot print. By the way, every when you play this game, you have a challenge for each fashion show and then you unlock new prints and such. And I have completed the entire game. So this is all 
that are in this. Does Eraser do anything? I guess not. Okay. For the angelic pretty, we're just gonna add an A. <laughs> P. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, there's no cherries, so maybe I can try and draw some cherries. Is this how they, uh, do it at Angelic Pretty? They use... A Barbie game from 2000 to design their prints? Probably probably not, no. Alright, I guess this is the closest to like solid black that we have. I'm just gonna do it all black and then I'm gonna draw in the white details. Did it! Okay, kind of, sort of. It's a little bit lopsided, but whatever. We're gonna try and draw those stripes in kind of terribly. There we go! I'm gonna try and redraw I really like this MCR shirt. I really want it. Ah! Uh, I can't get thin enough lines. I could just, like the same way that I did AP, I could just write MCR across this. But I'm gonna try and like freehand just MCR, which is gonna be hard enough. I could not draw that logo. No, you know what? I think it's good. <laughs> this looks closer to white. Should I like redo the whole front of the shirt with this color? Like, this neck is totally wrong, but I feel like the sleeve length might be okay. And I might, like, draw the JSK over it. Cargo pants! Lolita cargo pants. I hope that I am making Lady Sloth proud by recreating <laughs> this dress. I have this dress, actually. Maybe I should look at it up close for more inspiration. I have it in the purple colorway. I have the same dress as Marshy the Six. Fat macarons. It has mummy macarons, bear macarons, pumpkin macarons, the word boo written on it. Too hard. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do the bare ones. Ooh, I could do like little dots for the ears. Oh yeah, this is totally, this is totally it. This is Lady Sloth's print. I recreated it. She's gonna sue me cause you know, she's gonna think that I'm stealing her designs. Cause it's just so good. Uh, that did not work out. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> Okay, sure, that's that's a pumpkin. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is horrifying. <laughs> Looks more like an alien than a bear. All right, let's move on to the fashion show. So here's all my looks. Oh my gosh, she's wearing Cool to Dreams coordinate. Now what do I do? I have to put them on the models and I have to style them. I know we are not recreating the person, again, we are just recreating their coordinate. I do consider hair like part of a coordinate, especially since people wear wigs. So let's just try to match each person's hair. Let's try to style bug which- No! The shirt is backwards! Oh no, I have to fix that! <laughs> the shirt is backwards! That backwards collar, very Lolita. Perfect Lolita pose. I really wanna see that at a brand fashion show. If you're at a con and you're modeling for a brand, please whip out that pose for me. 
Oh, and the robot. Yes. I did this backwards as well. Support on that MCR. Heck yeah. A beautiful lady sloth. Oh, the no 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 pose again. Do a spin in that beautiful lady sloth JSK. That was me creating coordinates and having a fashion show in Barbie Fashion Show, a video game from 2000. Please let me know in the comments below if you have played this game before and if it gave you nostalgia and any other games you would like to see me attempt to play and if you enjoyed seeing me play a video game. <laughs> Which one of these coordinates would you wear? But it would have to be one of the ones that I recreated. Couldn't be the original cord. As always, stay lovely.